Uh, welcome you all for Department of College of Education so Digital Learning Class. I am Ashok Anna, Assistant Professor, Government First Grade College of affiliated to Ranchanam University, Belgaum, Karnataka. So as you know that uh, this is a 30, uh, session of 30. So this video is prepared for the BA first semester basic English course uh, of Ranchanam University. So in this video we are going to study uh, what is spoken English and broken English. So Bernard Shah's views on private and public speech and his views on using simple sentence. So George Bernard Shah says that if I offer you to choose among them as a model, you must put up with me an Irishman. So I have said enough to you about the fact that no two native speakers of English speak it alike. But perhaps you are clever enough to ask me whether I myself always speak it in the same way. It means that he confessed himself that I do not and even nobody does it. So here the George Bernard Shah is addressing a thousand of gramophone listeners. So many of uh, them are trying to trying hard to follow his words uh, they understand his words by syllable by syllable and if I were to speak to you as carelessly as I speak to my wife at home this record would be useless so if I were to speak to my wife at home as carefully as I am speaking to you uh, she would think that I was going to map. So therefore, uh, as a public speaker, I take care that every word what I say is here distinctively at the far end of a large halls containing thousands of people. So when we speak publicly, we should have care with our words. When we speak at home with my wife or our brothers or sisters or our neighbors, sitting with uh, six feet of me at a breakfast, I take so little pain with my speech and she asks sometimes me that don't mumble and don't turn your head away when you speak. I cannot hear a word you are saying. So she is a little careless and I asked her what two or three times during our meal. She suspects me of growing deafer and deafer as I am now over 17. It might be true. Ought not to speak, we ought not to speak uh, to my wife as carefully as I should speak to you. I, a queen, and see to me as carefully as she would speak to a king. Uh, we all have company manners and home manners. Uh, suppose you call on a strange family and listen through the keyhole, and he cannot suggest uh, to listen unladylike man unladylike or unladylike unladylike woman or a man so if you are enthusiasm to studying a language you have to hear a few minutes how a family speak to one another in a strange way walk into the room and you can hear how their language is different they speak in your presence and how they speak the lang how they speak in the presence of you. So George Bernard Shaw says that uh, we have used a very simple sentences. Uh, both manners are better and different, which is greater in speech. And we forget to uh, once he forget to wind uh, his watch. I ask a stranger what o'clock is it and he hears a free syllable 
distinctively for a wife to hear is clocks it that is good enough for her so when we speak with other people we have to care with our words but when we speak with our knowing people we cannot care with the words so i am speaking to you now much more carefully than i speak to her but please don't tell her so in this sessions uh, bernard shaw confessed himself that he did not know the language and even nobody and people are trying to hard to follow his words or our words when we speak in publicly so we have to we have a uh, two manners the first one is public manners and second one is private manners and uh, uh, when we call on a strange family and uh, we listen a uh, will a uh, wonder uh, when we listen their languages we will wonder so let us we will end this session so thank you for watching this video and we meet next video